I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and I suppose voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the hava frame? No. A little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds too. I should eat something. What though? Do we go up on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow. Not bad. Thanks. I look forward. Can I ask about food again? Go ahead, Chemis. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is, but it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far. But I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone too, if you don't like to go outside because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like home. Not quite, but those glute bars are so good. I bet even Mom would have liked them. Welcome to. Mm-hmm, not bad. Thanks. Have a nice day.
buying. Get the best transfer custom painter. Hey you, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah. Still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents. The city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well... That means trouble, so get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh yeah, uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No, blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well... It's too late for you to do anything anyway. Can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. <sighs> it feels like my whole life uh, and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's, uh... It's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. 
whether Cora is an automata or an android or even a person. If they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. It says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Korra? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. It feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. You see that bird? I believe it is a falcon. His name is Norman. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. I have your delivery. Consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me. Code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was going to tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm going to keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? Is pineapple so bad? No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There is a sign over there. Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. I think it would have been good to write a message on the board. Maybe, Camus, but pranks can get you fired. What would you have written? Something satirical? Pineapple is not so bad. Is that a good satirical? Not really, Camus. Maybe you are better at jokes. There's nothing funny about the people up there, Camus. I won't laugh at them till they're down here with us. Hey, hi. He hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloudpunk? No, sorry. I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloudpunk. I, I just want to ask something. And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. Not Mr. I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. 
Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You delivered to the Spire, right? That's your question? Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO of Entex says that all corps are on a spending freeze till the end of the day in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nefalis before? Nope. That's because they're all at the bottom of the seat. So... Yes, they ordered pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. Makes them less likely to sell me out to Corpsec. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Kid, the uh, weirdest job came up. Uh, there's not much pay in it, though. I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of Novellus. What? Really? Yeah, in a... sense at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novala city limits. They're below the city actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloudpunk HQ, then I'll send you a nav point down into the vents.
Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson.